Hi everybody, it's Bonkai922. Alright, last review for the day. Day two. This was episode six. Well, give or take. Six, nineteen, what have you. Um, season two. This one was pretty extreme. Um, after last week's with, if I'm saying his name right, don't, don't kill the messenger, kill it, kill it, Sugi, kill it, Sugi, um, kill it, Sugi, after he killed, that's right, killed his father, um, he goes with this girl, Natalia, and, it's weird, this episode was very strange. I found it very strange, because it was like, it went, it went from, from when he's older, to like him being very young. They were like different, in the beginning of the episode, it was, was, was back and forth, back and forth. But basically, it's showing him being with her, Natalia, and him learning the ropes of what her work is like. And there's this part where he's on an opera oper operation table, and she infuses him with some kind of ability. I know that. And I've seen this scene in the other episode, in an earlier episode of Dezio. And he's able to do. I believe his name, Kuritsugi, refers to breaking and tying. The characters of Kirilitsugi. Now, what ends on happening is he's learning from her in this episode, and he's, you know, mean, at one point in this episode, she says how, you know, if you're too much like a, a blood, cold blooded killer, you end up becoming just a machine. And at one point, they're on this mission. Where they're, they're having this firefight with these guys, and he, um, she looks at him and says, what are you trying to be, a hero? So, this episode was pretty fucked up. In, in fact, I might, I might say the review call it, Justice is pretty fucked up. <laughs> because the whole time, and, and now I'm understanding the backstory with Kuritsugi, man, this guy had it fucking rough. You know, he had it rough. And basically, what happens is, he's going through the ropes of learning these things, and then he's going on missions with Natalia, and killing people, and realizing this is what the real world is like. And he's realizing that, just because he killed his father, and stopped what he was doing, doesn't mean he solved everyone's problem. And it's really, really sad. And eventually, what happens is, they, um, he gets him and her, Natalia and Kirosugi, to get a job to do, killing this magi on this plane from France to New York. So, Kirosugi gets, goes to New York to kill the, his allies of this guy, and I believe Natalia goes to on the plane itself, get on the plane itself, to attack this guy, to kill this guy. I forgot the Magi's name, but she kills him while on this job, and decide, and figures, oh, you know, the job's finished, and she's talking to him, you know, saying, get, rid get ready for the ambulance ready to, um, to take him in, take in the sick person, you know. And already we've seen pretty fucked up shit going on with Kuritsugi, with killing of his father, losing that close friend, and he has these dreams of the, the situation, but anyway, what happens is, she finds out, Natalia, that the bees, because the, the story with this magic was that he's able to control these bees, these insects, and what happened was, she thought she trumped them, that she got the insects, and she sealed them, and what have you, destroyed them. Well, that's not what happened. 
It seems the insects were inside of his body. And he started coming out of his body. And if the insects attack you, you become ghouls. So basically, the entire fucking plane was infested with these bees and he attacked everybody. Everybody became ghouls, the living undead. So, what happened was, she's telling Kiritsugi what happened and so on and so forth. And basically, she's basically saying, I can, I'm in the cockpit. The good news is, I'm in the cockpit. The undead are behind me. They're not getting in. I'm, I could lie on the plane. And saying that the bad news is that there's no way for her to possibly get out of there without being bitten. So he, while he's talking to her about this, he gets on this boat, travels all the way out to sea, and is setting up this, I believe, rocket launcher. It's one of the most fucked upest things I think I've seen in this series so far. Because you saw, everyone's seen last week's episode with the whole killing his father, losing that girl, um, Sh 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 Shirley. Shirley, I believe her name was? Let me just see. Just checking, just checking. Uh, yeah, her name was Shirley. Um, and he's thinking about her and so on and so forth, and he's pulling the, the, right, the rocket launcher and he gets to the torch plane and he fires. And basically, and while he, he's having this conversation with her, he at some point says, oh, you are, you were my, you acted as my mother. So, she was the parent, the mother that he never had, supposedly. And he's aiming this rocket launcher at the plane, he fires it, destroys the plane. And she dies. And she smiles as the plane goes down. And she, it blows up. So, and then he's, at some point he's just really crazy-eyed Kirotsugi. And he's just going all, just, you know, I did the right thing, Shirley, right? I did the right thing. I killed more people, but I saved people. And he's just crying and crying and crying and realizing that, you know, this is the path I must take now. He's thinking to himself. And that's more or less where it ends. I, I forgot what the exact title of it was, but I believe it said Justice Something. Justice. And I'm going to call this review Fucked Up Justice. Justice. I'll just call it Justice That Is Fucked Up. The true, or maybe, I, you know what, forget it. I'll call it the true meaning of justice. So it goes to show you how I, I by the end of Fate Zero, I think I'm going to have full-on, bona fide, 100% respect for Kirotsugi. This guy was living like he knew what the world was like. The real world was like. So Saber, in my opinion, she's living a fantasy world. Yeah, that, that, that's, my, that's my take on it. Saber, let me tell you something. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> I don't wanna, I like Saber as a character, but she doesn't have any clue. No fucking clue what it means to be a king. And that's just my point of view. I'm just looking at it. Anyone who's got to argue with me on that, go ahead. But that's just the way I see it. Good episode of Fate Zero. Liked what I saw. Um, We'll see what next week brings. So, yeah. Bonkai 922. Oh, wait. Before I forget. Four and a half out of five. Definite, definite. These episodes are going great. Just fantastic shit. Sad though. Really sad. It's funny, the One Piece episode was sad and this kind of is sad too. He's all alone now. It's like, oh man. 
We'll see. Valkyrie 922. See you guys later. Kazumi, he's the man. He's the best. See ya.